Hey guys, it's part two of my Resident Evil series review. This series, this review will be about Resident Evil Apocalypse, the sequel to 2002's Resident Evil. This movie came out in 2004, and by far, it's, in my opinion, is the best movie of the series. It is about the Umbrella Corporation reopening the hive to see what on in the last series' events. Alice is still around, but you don't see her until... Jill Valentine, which is one of the main video game characters, debuts and goes up to the barricade, which she's in stars by the way. They go up to the barricade in the movie where the head of Umbrella, so to speak, is telling the city's inhabitants they have to go back or they will fire upon the city because they're checking to make sure nobody's infected. One of the guys of stars named Peyton is one of the hero one of the heroes, so to speak, again. Who ends up getting bitten and a woman doing reporting for a news station. They this starts out, they end up going to a church, and then they walk around, blah 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 blah. Meanwhile, there's two stories going on here. The second story is a guy named Carlos, I think. Yeah, it's Carlos. Carlos and his mercenaries are going around destroying everything, fucking up zombies, you know, you name it, they were doing it. And they realize that the Umbrella Corporation is no longer helping them. They asked for evacuation because one of their guys was ended up bitten. And instead of sending help, they send crap for weapons. Uh, eight cases. So there's two stories going on here. You got Alice and her, her newfound friends looking for a way out. And Carlos and his team looking for... Evacuation, because they need to get out, because one of their guys is bitten. Uh, yeah. The, the, these two stories are working side by side. Then you have the LJ character, who ends up showing up and getting sort of acquainted with Stars, who ends up getting fucked up by Nemesis. Yes, Nemesis. Who is Nemesis? If you watched the first Resident Evil you would know that Nemesis is Matt. Who is Matt, you ask? At the end of the first word in the evil, he gets scratched by the liquor in the train. Which they flashback to this at, towards the beginning of the film. Matt is Nemesis, and Nemesis is badass looking. He has a huge machine gun and a rocket launcher. Or Tommy gun, whatever the hell it's called. I have no idea. Whoever seen this movie should correct me in the comments below. Points, points, points. But yeah. These two, eventually, Alice and Carlos, or Alice's team and Carlos's team, are teamed up, so to speak, because one of the guys of the Umbrella Corporation's daughter is missing. She was supposed to get out in the evac before a car crash at the beginning of the film. And little does Alice, little does Jill Valentine and the other guys know, except for Alice, Alice knew all along, that the girl, this girl named Angie is infected with the T-Virus. Apparently the T-Virus is helping her walk again because she was confined to a wheelchair. And the T-Virus cannot mutate her because she is so young. Which, that's cool. That explains how your body can... Bond with the T virus, which is I, I liked. I personally liked. Now they have to go find her in a school, and if they bring her back to the one to the dude, Doctor Ashford, I think his name is, if they bring her back to him, he will help them get out by stealing one of the Umbrella Corporation's helicopters. This is where Umbrella is really starting to look like the bad guy now, and people are turning on them. Halfway through the movie. Alice runs into Nemesis for the first time and gets her ass kicked. Ends up breaking her finger sliding down a chute while escaping a rocket launcher. Makes sense. Towards the end, they, they, they deliver... They, they reach the launching pad for Dr. After it is and the main badass bad guy from the Umbrella Corporation is there and... He has kidnapped everybody except Alice, which he makes Alice fight Nemesis, I guess, to see who the more stronger of the two is, 
and it's proven to be Alice because she ends up pushing Nemesis, impaling him through some kind of metal thing, which doesn't kill him, he just sits there. Now, Nemesis is supposed to kill Alice because that's his programming. He's not supposed to harm any civilians unless they're a threat to him. Notice that he killed all the stars in the first scene, but he did not kill LJ because he did not deem him to be a threat. Alice says he would. He, he. He. Blah blah blah. I can't talk. What's his face from Umbrella tells Alice to kill Nemesis because he's deemed to be the weaker of the two, and she says no. Nemesis all of a sudden grows a heart and decides he's going to start killing all of the Umbrella military guys before a helicopter comes in, shoots a rocket, blows up a building, and kills Nemesis with a piece of a piece of the falling building. Now Alice, LJ, Valentine, Carlos and all them, they get into the helicopter before throwing out the dude from Umbrella where Dr. Ashford kills him by eating him because he turns into a zombie. On the way out, on the way from leaving Raccoon City, they detonate this rocket. They explain it in the middle of the movie that at sunrise they're going to the, um, shoot a rocket which will sanitize the city which means destroy it or vaporize it or whatever killing all of the infection so that's part that's three parts of this the story that they're all trying to get out because the city is going to be completely sanitized and the infection is going to be wiped out so on the way out from raccoon city another cop chopper shoots the rocket and the city is pretty much vaporized and Alice's chopper does not get out in time they hit extreme turbulence and a metal piece from inside the chopper impales Alice where it kills her pretty much and the chopper crashes a few minutes later a rescue team from umbrella comes and searches the wreckage and they find a burnt Alice which leads to the final scene where she's in the Umbrella research facility, gets out, starts attacking everybody. The cool scene was where she made the one dude who's checking security's eyes bleed. That was pretty cool. Then she gets out. Then she comes out of the building where there's a hundred raccoon uh, Umbrella military guys standing there with guns. I should start saying cops because that's what they are. Where Valentine, Carlos, and LJ, along with Angie, are in a black van. And they take Alice and ask what they did to her. And of course, Project Alice is fully activated, which means she's under Umbrella's control. Now, this is a lot better than the first. It's one of my favorite movies of, of the series. It's one of the best movies of the series. Of course, once again, it didn't really follow the games that much. But people complained about that. People aren't happy about anything. But this has been part two of my review series. Part three will be coming up later today, hopefully. If not, it'll be on Friday with Extinction. Extinction, Afterlife, and Retribution are the next in the series. I want to thank you all for listening, and I will be back soon.